morning. Oh, thank you, babe. Looks good. So, did a palette unboxing yesterday. Went through, looked at all the stuff. Now, as soon as I finish all my mama chores, I'm going to have to uh, see about moving some of that stuff to the flea market booth. Um, it's just, a, there's a lot to do. But I'm so thankful that we finally have pallets. Um, we what are you doing, Des? What are you doing? I'm so glad that we finally have pallets. We finally have material that we can put into the flea market booth and we can start changing some things around. So let's do this. It's the day after we um, opened our first palette of the four palettes that we bought from liquidation.com and I am, I guess I'm kind of just looking through trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do here and here's my problem. So a lot of these palette stuff that we get, we sell a lot of bigger items and a lot of that stuff gets sold on Facebook Marketplace um, but I'd like to be able to put a lot of this stuff in the flea market. Don't have a problem with smaller stuff like I said we actually are struggling with selling stuff that are really really small uh, but right now we've got a lot of furniture and a lot of the liquidation.com Amazon palettes or shelf pulls or things like that a lot of them have furniture and stuff. So I'm wondering if it's even going to be worth it to try and get a bigger booth. The booth that we have now works pretty well for us if we can keep it stocked, but it doesn't leave a lot of room for bigger items, which we will have much of um, here in the next few months. So I think what I'm going to do before I start loading this stuff up, start putting stuff together and figuring out um, whether I'm going to sell it on eBay or on Facebook Marketplace or what, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick trip to the flea market booth, find out what's sold over the weekend, and then I think I might see if they might have something that is slightly bigger. I'm not looking for a huge, huge flea market booth. Um, I know before we wanted to like get two flea market booths and put them together, but I just don't think that's going to work for us right now at this point. Um, I just want something with maybe a foot or two more space um, because there's no way we can fit like we got this beautiful mirror I mean like this this stuff down here this is another mirror um, we've got this garden bed and a couple of uh, we got this garden bed we've got a couple of uh, workout benches um, stuff like that that I would love to be able to sell at the flea market booth I think it would sell very well there um, we just don't have room for it so let's go see if we can find um, a bigger booth Sarah. this is my friend Justin <laughs> he's helping us he's helping us find a we're thinking about getting probably having to go bigger so for our bigger stuff so it's not that much bigger it is on the front row it'll be the first of the month so um, 34 would be the bigger one that's available. That you could, you could take now. Where's that one at? Um, right next to mine. Um, oh, I get to be next to the purple know, corner. Right, the purple corner, right? <laughs> Three locations in the area. <laughs> and online. You hear that? Home. You hear that? <laughs> you hear it? Uh, hey, I like purple. Everything you need or <laughs> but this one's a little oh, bigger. This it's a bigger. little bit bigger. Um, I because we don't need a lot more space. We just have a lot of furniture and, stuff now. And I have peg that I could put here, but I left it off because depending on who moved in. Yeah, the, they may not want it. Know. Yeah. Okay, and so I there's this one. We have a half table on this side, and I thought if somebody did want it, I do have the other half. And yeah. We could kind of, you know, work it out somehow. Yeah. Those four are those ones that I can flip on Amazon for 15 to 20, 30 dollars a piece. I was just talking to Clay about the issue with uh, displaying some of my one-off items and he suggested trying to just put it on the pegboard on hooks and just see if that kind of display helps. So I think that's what we're going to do this afternoon. Works for me. Yeah. Well, it, keeps, it, it keeps it clean and keeps it 
uh, a little more organized, more like a store. Yeah. Uh, you know, because I think people come in here and they're not really wanting to rummage through like they would at a yard sale or something. Yeah, I was just they're kind of wanting that. to more like yeah. a, more like going to Walmart or going to somewhere like that where they can kind of walk through and kind of look. Yeah, you know, maybe like on the records over here, kind of flip through them, but not yeah. not dig. And I was just, you know, I watch people going through these booths, and I see that their hands are almost usually behind their back. Mm -hmm. or, you know, they're not really looking into, you know. Whereas when we had the warehouse, that was part of the culture was digging. For right, them. right. And so I'm thinking that you might be right, and it might be helpful. Yeah, because really a lot of people just walk through and. Maybe they don't have time to walk in every single booth. Right. They're just kind of browsing around, but if they walk by and look at your booth, they might see something that catches their eye. Yeah. And so then they'll go in your booth there. and look, you know, and then kind of look through. But yeah, just coming up and seeing bins, they may not want to dig through the bins. Yeah, they may just see a whole bunch of plastic and just be like, well, I'm not really. Right. I've got so many other things to look at. Yeah. 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 So that's true. I never thought about it from a competition standpoint, you know, like right. competing for. Because if, if I come in here, if I just had, say, 30 minutes to stop and go through here, I'm just trying to kill time or whatever. Yeah. I don't have, in 30 minutes, I can't go through and actually go through every single booth right. and brow and, like, really dig through every single booth. I mean, booth. how many booths are there in here? Like 50? Kind of, how many is in here? I mean, uh, even... 60, 30, 60, well, 60. Yeah, so 60. you could spend an hour spending a minute in each booth. Now That's we not do have. have. Yeah. So it's official, we finally got that other booth. I guess the next step is to figure out how to move everything over, um, what kind of shelving, if anything, that we need. Um, and that's gonna be Joe's jurisdiction. So um, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'm, you know, sometimes we just make these jump the gun decisions and sometimes I get really nervous about what that looks like. But I really think that this is gonna be something that we need, something we can use long term and it's not that huge of an, an additional investment than what we already got going on so i think it's going to be good um my next step is to go home um let joe know what's going on uh and then uh i guess he will try and figure out how to set up the the booth uh spatially so all of our stuff can fit it's just really not one of my uh one of my strengths, uh, spatial awareness. So that's where I really lean on him to make sure that all the shelves are gonna fit the way they're supposed to um, and that we have room for all the bigger stuff that are coming in. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me and until next time.